Hey guys, it's Arissa. Welcome back to my channel. We're going a little bit casual today in this corner here because it's something that's not makeup and it's a topic we don't really discuss here. I did get a request or a couple requests actually to do a what's in my bag. Makeup was not the only thing that I decluttered. I also decluttered my handbag collection. I used to post on my Instagram every now and then how I would store and organize my bags, but I have a lot less now. And I'll get into that at the end of this video after I kind of go through what's in my bag. But first up is this right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25 in Damier Event. And this bag really has lived up to what I've been wanting. I wear it as a shoulder bag and that's really what I wanted it for. But you can have an extra strap right here to make it a crossbody. Or you can take off the strap entirely or have it hang down here and then hold on to these as a top handle bag. So I love that you can wear this in so many different ways and that's why I pretty much wear it on the weekends and for work all the time. So the first thing in here is my phone. This is the iPhone 8 Plus and I just have a clear case on this and this is from Amazon. I really like getting my cases from Amazon. And this is the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I do like having this because the keys don't scratch up my bag. And this is how I store my sunglasses. This is a Key Australia case, but my sunglasses are actually not by Key Australia. I just like that this is a really easy thing to put in and it doesn't take up a lot of space. But these are my sunglasses and these are um, from Costco. I think they're just like the Kirkland brand. I don't really even know if it had a brand name on it. I think it was just Kirkland and they are prescription sunglasses. So I really like these and I like getting my prescription glasses from Costco. And since we're talking about Costco glasses anyway, these are my prescription glasses. And I need these for driving, for meetings, to be able to like see up on a screen for a PowerPoint presentation or a whiteboard or something and they are Escada glasses and I got these at Costco. My other pair previously had the little pink bow on the side. I really liked those from Furla, also at Costco. And honestly, I should be wearing my glasses more often. So I like to have random pouches in my bags to make sure that everything is kind of neatly stored away. So I have one right here. This is the Epion's pouch that I got from my esthetician. It was just a free gift with purchase and I like to put in here like the random catch-all type thing. So I have the Roto Cool eye drops. I love these when your eyes are a little bit red and it just really brightens them up. And then this here is Advil oil absorbing sheets. I always have these. And my emergency bar, this is the RX Mixed Berry and I really like the kid size. I think the regular version is a little bit too big, but the kid size is maybe about half of what you would get in the normal size, and I think it's perfect. Mixed berry is my favorite flavor. I have Benadryl because I have so many food allergies and I just always need Benadryl just in case. And these are the lip balms I've been loving lately. This is the Ethically Traded Lip Balm Coconut Pineapple, and I get these at Whole Foods. And this is my Purell hand sanitizer. I like this version with the pump. This is so much neater than the cap, like a flip cap. And I have random things in the bag that I should really be putting in here, so I'm gonna put them back in. I have another oil absorbing sheet, just cannot be without those. These are the Spry Gem Mints, natural and sugar-free peppermint, and I get these at Whole Foods. I really like them. I also always have tissue packs on hand, and I think that's pretty much it for this bag, so I'll end up putting everything back in here. And then my other pouch here is from my mom. I think she got this at Old Navy, it's so cute. And this is my makeup bag at the moment. So I'll go through what I have in here. And it's actually good that I'm doing this because I need to clean some stuff out. Like I have too many lip products in here, to be honest. So I have two of the Flower Beauty lipsticks that I recently posted on my Instagram saying I really like. And these are Spice Petal, which is a cream formula, and then Naked Blush, which is a matte. So it's not really focusing well, but you get the idea. So this one is Naked Blush, and this is Spice Petal. I also have in here the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Rose Kiss. This came in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale set and it's exclusive to Nordstrom. Beautiful shade. Another lipstick. I have in here Revlon Primrose. Some of you guys were so disappointed that I didn't have Primrose anymore, but it is back in my collection 
and this used to be my favorite lipstick ever a few years ago. I did repurchase it, so now I have Primrose back in my life. Um, and I also have here my favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Waterproof in Very Black. And then for my brows, I don't talk about this too much because it's always in my makeup bag, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in ebony i really like this one and this is more of that triangle shaped eyebrow pencil i do i think prefer the skinny one so after i use this up i don't think i'm going to repurchase it but my favorite ever is the elf brow pencil and then this is my favorite eyeliner it is the maybelline master precise skinny gel pencil in brown i always have one in my bag and i also try to have one up at my vanity and for travel purposes i do like having an eyeshadow palette so this is the naked basics palette by urban decay so this is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes and it's so simple looking but i like this kind of look now i love matte shadows and it does still have a shimmery shade right here here is a shu uemura eyelash curler and lash glue i always have to have lash glue in my bag and this is the duo brush on it adhesive with vitamins. And that's it for my makeup bag. And then one last pouch that I keep is this flat one and this is for receipts and just like random gift cards and things like that. So this is a Kate Spade pouch that comes with a set of pencils, erasers, a ruler, and that kind of thing. I also have in here this e.l.f. selfie light, which is so random, but you clip it on, where's my phone? You clip it on your phone, and I think the light is actually pretty good. Like it, it has three settings, and you get this on Ulta's website. They probably have it on their own website, but I got it off of Ulta's website, and it already comes with the battery, and it's good to go. And then my wallet, this is a recent buy for me. This is the Gucci, I don't remember the name of it. I'll put it below. So I've been looking for a new wallet for a really long time. I had a smaller compact wallet like this size, but it was by Michael Kors, and I had it for years, and it was just really beat up. It has a coin area right in here, and you can also put your dollar bills in here. So I think this is a nifty little wallet. I really like it. It comes in multiple colors. I ended up getting the red. And that's pretty much it. And I just have my car fob here in that little pocket. And then that, oh, I just hit myself. And then that is the bag. So overall, I really like this bag. It's very lightweight as it is because of the canvas and it's very durable. And also just having the treated leather, I don't have to worry about it in rain or shine. So that's pretty much it for what's in my bag. And now I'm gonna get into why I ended up selling my other bags or decluttering my other bags and why I went for something like this. So before I used to have about more than a dozen bags and they were typically, I really like Michael Kors and Tory Burch. And the problem with that was for me, and I'm not saying this is for anybody else, this is just my experience. I noticed that every season, whenever they came out with a new design or a new color, I wanted to get it. And I was never satisfied. I was never content. I always longed for the next best design, that next best color. I mean, some of the designs that I loved, they were discontinued after a year. Eventually, I got to the point where I decided I wanted to get a forever bag and a bag that I would feel content with for pretty much the rest of my life. So that's where I decided to declutter my handbag collection and I really started small. I ended up posting my bags on this app called TradeZ and I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. They don't know who I am and this is not sponsored. Um, this is just the app that I happened to find when I was kind of Googling ways to sell my bags. And my bags were in pretty good condition as well. So what I did is I took a bunch of photos about of maybe two or three bags, I think, and they immediately sold. Over time, I ended up selling all of them and I had enough money to buy other bags. And that's why I decided to put that money toward a classic bag, one that I could feel like I could have forever and I would never feel like I needed the next new design. So that's why I made that decision and in the end, I'm so much happier with my collection. I don't have that many and I feel a lot better. Kind of getting to the point in my life where I feel like less is more with my makeup, with my handbags, even with my clothing, um, I've been kind of 
downsizing everything and I feel so much better about it. I wanted to at least share that because one, I did get requests for a what's in my bag, but I also wanted to mention just downsizing in other aspects of my life and not just in makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, something a little bit different. And also if you have any other recommendations, not recommendations, requests for videos, I would love to hear them as well. I do post videos on Sundays and Thursdays. So I will see you guys again in my next upload. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.